Good morning, guys. It is Tuesday, November 15th. We have numbers of 5 and 19 today. 5 is about change, boundaries, confidence. It's also about fences and your stand, where, you're st where you stand, the bottom line. Okay. 5 is also change. Uh, did I say give some surprises? <laughs> okay, so just so you know, we have... We have two fives. One of them, one of the numbers is an actual five, and the other one is 14. 14 breaks down to five. But when I see 14, which is the universal month, okay, it's basically about declaring something. Um, 14 is the number of social media. It is also the temperance card, which represents Sagittarius. Adventure and optimism. So this is optimistic change or a surprise that makes you happy. Okay, the number 19 breaks down to a 10, down to a 1. So there's a beginning, there's an ending. It's completing a cycle, holding space for something new, and moving forward with that something new. Okay, so we also have additional transits of Mars and Libra squaring Pluto and Capricorn at 20 degrees. So that lends clarity. Okay, we get 2020 vision in seeing where we need to make changes and where we need to make changes in our personal boundaries okay this is like a let's try this again or let's try this one more time okay mars oh the moon is in pisces excuse me so that's compassion love sensitivity um dreams imagination Okay, it's poetry. Um, Pisces loves everybody. They're an incurable optimist, you know, a dreamer. They do a lot for other people. Their love is boundless. Okay, they like to make their mates happy. Doesn't matter if they get anything back. That's just who they are. Their love, right? And your love. So this Pisces moon should have you feeling, I want to say romantic, but it's more sensitive um, more caring basically now the shadow side of moon and Pisces can be confusion illusion um, being delusional and also avoiding reality by escaping okay so either running away or going to your happy place in your mind um, or physically going to your happy place, traveling, going somewhere. Um, escapism can have can have a lot to do with addictions and compulsions. Okay, we do have the Scorpio Moon. Okay, and the uh, Scorpio Moon. Excuse me, Scorpio Sun. I'm lying. Okay, so with the Scorpio Sun uh, lighting up the dark places and the Moon and Pisces, it's being understanding of others, okay? Seeing where other people are coming from. What did I want to say, son? In Scorpio, prison escapes. Um, and I have been taking notes. I've been tracking the moon. So under moon and Pisces, I also have ghosts, seeing ghosts, seeing glitches, glitches in the matrix. Um, so that can be synchronicities if you haven't exited the matrix already you may not be aware of synchronicities that are right in front of your face um, synchronicities patterns habits hearing the same word hearing the same number color um, in a short period of time repeating numbers signs symbols um, like let's say you go to the store and uh, there's two couples in there and they're like wearing the same thing and each of them like the female has blonde hair and the male has white hair with a long beard and and you look at the other end of the store and there's a another female with blonde hair and another guy with a long beard this almost makes me want to bust out in song who's got a cap and a beard of white <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> santa's got a cap and a beard of white i don't know why santa claus is coming up now i'm not one to celebrate um, holidays early because honestly uh, Thanksgiving <laughs> is what's coming up so you will find yourself uh, reflecting 
on situations and people that need unconditional love, okay? You're seeing the human condition and understanding this person does this because of that. So you may not be so concerned with people's actions as the intent behind the actions because people can fuck up. Hell, you fuck up. And today would be a good day to fuck up because you could be forgiven with the moon in Pisces. Okay, um, Mars and Libra squaring Pluto and Capricorn, that's an obsessive personality, uh, a combative nature, and it also can be feeling unhappy that you're forced to accept some kind of new condition. Something different is happening and you're not, um, I want to say you're not resonating with it. And the thing is, with the obsessive component, um, you just can't help yourself. You could be succumbing to an urge or temptation when you're trying to change. Mars, even though Mars is in Libra, um, it's wavering, unsteady energy, so it kind of feels bipolar. Okay, Mars, action, energy, drive, fire, surgery, war, Libra, uh, democracy, diplomacy, balance, fair, justice, uh, dependence, women and women children and animals pluto death and rebirth transformation succumbing to the urge destroying getting to the core of the negative and destroying it okay capricorn can be big business self sabotage um it's also practical I want to say self-reliant, but it's self-made. This is somebody who works hard, likes physical, hard, physically hard work. And the fact that Mars is squaring Pluto means that your actions are against the grain. They, um, I, I want to say actions against humanity, but I think I think I'm thinking of that card game. Um, basically, reverting resorting and redoing something some kind of behavior that you might have been trying to get out of like some of you guys if you um you may be tempted today okay so for those people who have recently gone into some kind of rehab or have recently gotten help for an addiction compulsion or obsession um, this can be, this can be a falling off the wagon. This can be where you're like, well, everything's all fucked up. I might as well. Okay. Don't fool yourself. Uh, try, <laughs> try not to lie to yourself. That's denial. That's deep denial. Um, for others, there's some people that are high strung right now. And there could be a lot of anxieties and a lot of nervousness going around, which could be the reason why you're like, I'll just drink the beer. Um, <clears throat> when you first start detoxing from something, and Scorpio season is detox season, when you first start detoxing, um, the cravings are going to be hard to deal with. So it could be a craving. You could be searching for a fix of something. I, I don't think, uh, oh no, I did. I did talk about the other stuff that I logged under the Pisces moon. So yeah, prison escapees. And actually, I think we saw that on the news here in Hawaii that there were, there's a couple of escapees that uh, checked out and didn't check back in. Okay, so the cards, main female, expectation. The main female will be representative of you, the, the inquirent. But if you are cross-watching, this is the main feminine in your life. Okay, this person is, oh, this person is well balanced. Oh, eight of wands. This could be travel. This could be a foreign adventure or something new. Not necessarily to foreign territory, but it could be to foreign territory. This can also be alien, <laughs> alien territory. This person could be an alien traveling. And when I say alien, I mean strange weird um not from our land and not from our world okay so i mean it on every level and in every sense of the word for me this is manifestations picking up speed 
to where you're seeing signs and symbols and getting messages because eight of wands is mercury and Sagittari uh, sagittarius sagittarius oh my gosh i can't talk today stupid stupid mercury retrograde um anyways sagittarius is second house to scorpio we are in sun and scorpio so lighting up the dark areas talking discussing and traveling in terms of adventures so this could be somebody relating their story or somebody saying oh you know once upon a time i did this or oh i used to do this i don't have a number six over here so this could be like legendary stories um I want to say unique remembrances, but they're, they're more like special memories, special times in my life when I did this. I'll probably never, ever do it again. You can remember it clearly like it was yesterday. You can almost see it. Okay, so with Eight of Wands, it's manifestation speeding up, swooping in. The signs are all there. It's a number eight. So... If you're really thinking about your future and which direction you want to go, you, uh, which you are, you're open to change and the future. And any changes that you make right now will end up empowering you. You could attract some luck. So the lightning in here. Lightning strikes and there's a change to your fortune. For some of you guys, you are losing something. You're taking a huge loss. Okay, for others, you're getting a huge gain. There is always something. This could be happening to you, somebody around you, or somebody who you've come into contact to that is exuding a particular type of energy. Yeah, Eight of Wands is traveling. Somebody's taking a trip here. Somebody's taking a trip to create their legacy. I don't know if they're going on a tour. Something about a tour. A tour, a search, browsing for something. Some people may be getting kind of bored or probably sick of the daily schedule and they kind of want to break out or break away, get away. Okay, traveling to different horizons or talking about traveling to different horizons. So some of you guys could be making uh, travel arrangements or discussing itineraries, what you want to do, or like, I really want to go home for a visit. Or I need to go home because somebody went over the Rainbow Bridge. Okay, somebody could have passed away and you might need to fly somewhere. And this is a sudden event to where you're asked to come quickly. Let me clarify the Eight of Wands, please. Ooh, Hierophant. Hierophant, change. <clears throat> a change in comfort with what you believe. It's also paradigms and structures, structured beliefs that you're predisposed to. Ten of Wands is a burden. Being restricted on adventures. Somebody, somebody could be grounded. Okay, I apologize. I had a customer come in the store. So this can be adventures. Hierophant can be about habits or stubborn habits. It can be a teacher, a student, or it can be any kind of structured paradigm or beliefs that we uh, live on uh, through experience. Things that we, beliefs that we assume through experience. For example, like, you know, marriage is a paradigm. Relationships are a paradigm. Um, 
you might feel like the American dream is a paradigm, okay? You got to get go to college, you know, be a doctor, be a lawyer, uh, get married, buy a house, have kids, you know, 2.5 kids and the dog, the, uh, the white picket fence, all that kind of BS. Um, that is not necessarily true. If you don't want to get married, if you don't want to have the government be involved, okay, you can always just live with your partner uh, because honestly, marriage is just a certificate and it's a way that the government can keep track of you, okay? There are, uh, don't get me wrong, I don't have anything against marriage, although I am divorced, so yeah, that did kind of spoil it for me a little bit here, but I'm just saying, you can have separate residences, you can live in different states, different areas, different countries, so long as you have that exclusivity, and I think actually these relationships that are at longer distances, I think that they're great because it gives you a chance to live your life and to learn and then when you get together with your partner that you know you've got so much to bring so much to talk about and then you guys can truly have quality time and not be weighed down by the uh feeling that everything is obligatory right obligatory sex obligatory talking um when you go through your day-to-day -day things, it kind of gets boring, kind of gets Groundhog Day, okay? So for some of you guys, you might be getting a little bit of bored, and you might want to shake things up. You may have felt for a long time that you were restrained from taking any new adventures. Taurus. Uranus and Taurus retrograde, I believe at four degrees, changing your beliefs about branching out, about opening up to the new, going beyond. So this is kind of like breaking the glass ceiling. So somebody here might accept the challenge or create a new challenge for themselves. Ten of Wands is usually an oppression or a burden, okay? And people restrict themselves. Oh, no, I've got to get married and have a baby. You do not have to get married and have a baby. You can do anything you want. If you never have kids, you don't have to have kids, okay? You don't have to. Just because it's common in society and everybody does it does not mean one size fits all. Okay, so for a lot of people, there is the burden, I want to say burden of proof, but the burden of paradigms, false beliefs. Now you're breaking through, you're breaking free of things that you used to believe, things that used to control you, and now you're trying your best to learn how to not hold yourself back. Clarify expectations. Expectations is, I want to say it's the waiting game. <clears throat> waiting for something to happen, waiting for something to start, waiting for something to end. Of course, some of you guys, this may be expectation is, uh, can be being patient. Okay, being patient and knowing that everything is perfect and feeling empowered because you know you are exactly where you're supposed to be. Three of Cups. <clears throat> this can be a reunion of sorts. This could be getting back together or a revisit, a return. We do have Mercury retrograde in Scorpio right now. So there could be some things coming back that you thought were dead. You could be waiting. Oh, some of you guys. Okay, I'm hearing that, um, I'm hearing that song. Why don't you come back? Please hurry, why don't you come back? Please hurry, come back and stay for good this time. <coughs> Excuse me, my throat seems to be, um, <coughs> wow, I'm having allergy issues, I think. I hope it's not getting sick. Anyways, mercury in cancer, sensitive communication, this is, do you want to go on a drink? Uh, do you want to go on a drink? Do you want to go on a date, have a few drinks, have a cup of coffee? This is a small, intimate get-together. So 
some of you guys could have been waiting for an important day, for an important date, or an important event. For some of you, you're feeling empowered because your lover came back, realizing that the grass was not greener on the other side. And still, for others, you're kind of waiting, you're expecting to close out some cycles. So you're just kind of waiting for, you're wondering, oh, I wonder who's coming back. I wonder who's going to try again. Three of Cups can be interference also. It can be For some of you guys who are at the end of a relationship, you could be expecting somebody to cheat. Um, you could be wishing God, I wish somebody would just take them away already because you can't bring yourself to end the relationship. Some of you guys might be waiting for somebody else to fuck up. And then you can feel justified in calling it quits. Okay, giving them enough rope to hang themselves. Yeah, so it's like you're releasing any attachments. Basically, you know, <clears throat> if they are meant for you, they will be with you. If they are not meant for you, then this will close out. Four of swords, five of wands. Ooh, already two, four, th one, two, three. How many fives have we got? We got one, two, three, three fives. Okay, boundaries, your bottom line, um, gifts, and surprises. It could be that you're hoping somebody will show up and be like, hey, let's go get a drink. Where is that party buddy of mine? I think... Oh, maybe that full moon in Taurus that's coming up on November 12th is going to release a restriction because I, I keep getting breaking through breaking through and glass ceiling like somebody is going to pull something off it almost feels like a stunt like oh my god did I really just do that or did you really just do that or that's never been done before so this could be surpassing your own expectations and what were you waiting for you were waiting for a reason to celebrate you're waiting for the moment to celebrate it's high time it's high time that you get to enjoy yourself and have a little bit of fun okay so somebody was drinking and might have said a few things. I feel like it's in the past, but in the recent past, like within the last month, maybe somebody somebody uh, overdid it on the alcohol, or it could be... I want to say illusionary drugs, like, you know, LSD or shrooms. Some of you guys, you might be ready for somebody to act up. Some and others of you, you're waiting for somebody to come back and and hopefully ask you out. For some of you guys, you are expecting an important meeting and you're just lying in wait knowing that <clears throat> excuse me, that an opportunity is exists and it's coming for you. waiting for a relationship to end, waiting for somebody to stop drinking and to travel on a different road, to be more conscious and more sensitive about how people think of them, how people view them. Okay, yeah, I'm hearing not socially conscious. Some people just don't realize that when they're drinking, it affects other people. So somebody is waiting for somebody to quit drinking They probably feel like this is the biggest problem in the relationship. The addiction, the obsession with something, an addiction, an obsessive, a compulsion, something that somebody does way too much. 
For some of you guys, you may be very brave after a few drinks, but I don't see anything, I don't really see anything bad um, in terms of this. Okay, so we got four swords and five of wands. Four swords is want to get away, taking a break, taking a, med uh, taking a medication, um, meditating, okay, taking a vacation, silencing the fears, silencing the triggers, getting a hold of yourself and staying balanced. So this can be uh, retreating, treating and retreating. And then we have five of wands, which can be defeat. This is fighting. It can be inner insecurity, projection, conflict. You may have recently uh, received some new information. Could be this person trying to get back into your life. It's kind of unseating you. Um, feels like you're on edge and you just want to get away. You don't want to go have drinks with them, but you certainly want to go home and you're feeling like, oh my God, I need a beer or I need to get high or I need to elevate my mood. <laughs> I need to elevate my mood in order to feel better about a situation. This calls for a celebrate celebratory toast. Somebody's somebody might be toasting you. This could be gratitude and appreciation. Somebody like, "Hey, let me buy you a beer. You're awesome, you know. Thanks for fill in the blank." Let me buy your beer. Okay, so four swords, five of wands, seven of cups. Seven of cups is, it can be illusions. It can be an illusion. Projection, defeat, inner strife, new, new competition. new competition, having many options. So there's, there may be some challengers. Oh, this does not look like a bad thing. Um, at first, initially, this is calm yourself. I know you're doubting in your abilities, but this is probably the stuff made of dreams. Mentor of Swords. Mentor of Swords is the voice of air, Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. This can be a spiritual person who is in service to, to unite. You know, this is one love. This is one, this is a person that's one love, togetherness. They, they, they pitch unity they don't attack it they promote it okay it's also lessons about the strengths and limitations of the intellectual and it can be sudden physical violence from a rush conclusion okay uh from ending a relationship all the way to a killing okay so it's kind of like domestic violence there could have been domestic violence involved um this person okay now i'm seeing the bad um, boy, yeah, there's somebody coming back. They're, they're the alcoholic. Um, okay, I'm hearing there's a new, there's a new kid in town. So your ex may be coming back to town uh, and have this idea that they can get back together with you. Okay, they're, uh, somebody's in denial so this may be really testing your nerves. It may be all you can take. You don't want to see this person. You don't want to deal with them. They were a burden when you were married to them. This feels like the ex-husband. Ex-husband, ex, um, I say ex-husband because the main card is the main female. Okay, so it has to be the ex-main male. The thing is, they're trying to come back. And for some reason, they're thinking that you're going to take them back. They don't even realize that they were a burden to you and how free you felt and how empowered you felt 
when you didn't have to deal with their day-to-day -day drinking, when you didn't have to feel with, uh, had, didn't have to deal with their lack of consciousness, their lubricated, uh, perverted view of the relationship is the reason is the reason why they're trying to come back i don't know it's almost like they glorified it or they just i'll try again not realizing that you're over it and that they're dreaming okay we have five of pentacles and death okay meaning you ghosted them okay you left them behind in the dust you got sick and tired of them being lubricated all the time you got tired of being blamed they were always projecting blaming you for how they feel okay uh, basically you're like nah fuck that i don't think so get the fuck out of my life you were out of my life what the hell make you think that you can come back when you've never ever changed um i'm not even interested and if you did change I'm not interested either <laughs> basically so you shun them you close that door you will have nothing more to do with this person who's trying to enter your life again who has not made any reparations they have not done anything different they're still stuck in their bad habits for some of you guys you might be falling off the wagon and then you might not know what to do to do about it um, you fucked up okay very understandable you fucked up sometimes when you're trying to completely detox from something you will slip okay uh, one step forward two steps back kind of deal but that always happens in the beginning you've got to expect that somebody's going to fuck up okay and not treat them like shit but then you have to go back and quit again and this time redouble your efforts and it looks like you're going to be successful okay you realize that you are at the end of your rope you don't have many options left you don't have very many ways to go so long as you hold on to this addiction your life is going to amount to shit okay you're going to be that poor broke ass person and not the wealthy man that you think you are Okay, so for some of you guys, oh, look at that. That is a rags to riches story right there. So this can be something completely separate, a rags to riches. Beautiful. Poverty is about barely having enough money to meet the basic needs. And then wealthy man can be an investor. It can be this sexy banker or owner of a business or owner of a big organization can be... He's got a wad of cash. He's got money and time to burn. Travels, travels. Somebody who travels a lot. Somebody who, who's able to travel because they're well to do. Ten and then four. So for a lot of you guys, this is an end to... <coughs> bless you. This is an end to... Being in the poorhouse. You're... 37, it feels like there's going to be somebody communicating with you that is interested in working with you. They're going to come see you or they're going to talk to you. Or you could have this sudden stroke of genius. King of Swords, creating a strategy. This is the uh, King of Swords is the cusp of Taurus into Gemini. So it's being comfortable with a new pattern with a new daily pattern of thinking so that pro that probably says that you need to become positive and you need to pre not pretend that you are wealthy but live in that optimistic energy of being wealthy because how it works is your thoughts create your reality so if you're thinking oh my god i have nothing the universe is going to hand you nothing and you're going to keep stressing because that's what you're putting out however if you realize just how much you are, you realize that you are a wealthy person. You have people who love you. You have roof over, a roof over your head. You've got food to eat. You've got somewhere to go. You've got people there that accept you. Uh, that That's wealth, you know, family and friends that love you, that care for you. 
king of swords can also be a decision wow okay so family room this is the meeting place where you can speak your mind this could be a classroom a boardroom hell it could be congress okay it's any large room where people get together and speak their truths So this could be literally somebody deciding to tell their story, how I came from nothing and how I ended up here, feeling rich and protected. Courthouse. Okay, so courthouse with, this is clarifying decisions here. King of Swords, courthouse. There, oh. Possibly deciding to pursue some kind of litigation courthouse is about it, it's paperwork it's signing it's re-signing it's resigning to it can also be any tall building such as the courthouse the town hall the library any kind of a federally or state owned building it can be the state capital for all we know re-signing this could be congress re-signing a bill or resigning to a bill Okay, well, I'm hearing manufacturing. So, this could be manufacturing on different levels, possibly making something up. Strategy. I don't... I have nothing, nothing, nothing till I, cause I don't, if I don't have you. Okay, so this could be, I'm in the poor house, deciding to do the right thing and taking a little bit of punishment for it, but you're speaking the truth. Okay, it's all you can do. This could be like an affidavit. I feel like. Somebody's fighting an uphill battle or fighting a losing battle. It could be like, you know, like even the impeachment hearing. This could be, you know, several witnesses did not show up. So this could be a meeting, people resigning to testifying. So this looks like a go around. Let's contact them again and see if we can reschedule. So it almost feels like a rescheduling of a witness or a testimony rescheduling of a talker or a speaker somebody has to reschedule or somebody has to manipulate the schedule for something resign resign to having a meeting this could be okay i'm hearing corporate big wigs so king of swords can actually be a lawyer Resigning, resigning. A lawyer. Class action. I think I was getting this uh, the other day. Somebody's filing another class action lawsuit, it seems like. I'm hearing, I'm in the poorhouse now, so I'm not sure what it is. I, I want to say government. I want to say in the government just because you know we've got the hierophant here and then i see suits when i see king of swords like um you know three-piece suits with the tuxedo representing this is a huge lawsuit this is a big lawsuit feels like a pretty big lawsuit or not announcement though i don't have the announcer but it's signing or re-signing or something with paperwork gathering gathering oh gathering paperwork and just because i saw that look at that so it does look like a huge class class action lawsuit okay toppling the tower so some some corporation is going to be taken down we've got the tower 
there were people that didn't want to testify, but I think they get talked into it or they recognize that this is the right thing to do. So they resign to it. They have confidence in yourselves. That's the number 23. Okay, yeah. They're bringing my eyes to the 23. So they could change their mind. Initially, they didn't show up to testify and suddenly realize that they need to testify. Okay. Whoever they're testifying for, they're, they need to get their just desserts. They need to be served or reserved. What is the moon in? The moon is in Pisces. So serve or suffer. They're going to come after you whether you say something or you don't. So open your mouth and speak the truth and stand up for yourself and the people that cannot defend themselves. Wealthy man. Okay, I already explained that to you. It's a number 13. So this guy could be a tycoon. So bam, we got a tower moment. Somebody gets hit with a big lawsuit or... Somebody gets a slap in the face because somebody's doing the right thing. Um, I know it's really hard when you doing the right thing. Sometimes it feels like initially you get punished for telling the truth, but it all works out in the long run. Because look, we've got the magician. So right after death, we've got the magician. So it could be like miraculous, like somebody, somebody changed their mind. I almost feel like this could be a, oh, I got goosebumps. This could be like a secret witness. Somebody's, somebody's got the load. This could be the person with the info that puts it over the top. Wow. That's so awesome. Death to the magician. Let's clarify wealthy man. So that really speaks to, you know, the creation of our own fate. Doing the right thing. Oh, look at that. Two of Wands. Planning. The goal is to take the giant down. Taking down the giant. Making plans. This is Mars and Aries. Going after what you want. An investor. So it looks like uh, it's possible somebody's being sponsored. Tycoon goals. This could actually be the lawyer also, or the person who's footing the initial bill. Sponsor or the initiator. Oh, wow, look at this. Three of Swords, 21 World, and 19 The Sun. Okay, so somebody makes a decision, okay? They decide to go after something, after a particular goal, and they start planning their strategy. This is also manipulation, too, so there's a lot of strategy planning. It looks like um, Three of Swords is pain and trauma. 21, the world, when everything comes together, when everything culminates, this is unlimited possibilities. Okay, so yeah, this could be, this could literally be a store owner, like, you know, somebody who owns a, uh, a Walmart or a 7-Eleven. There's rainbows shooting everywhere. I bet you if she turned around, there'd be a rainbow shooting out of her ass. Okay, so a decision to file a lawsuit in regards to some trauma, pain, cuts. Could be surgery, too. Earlier, I was getting far, big pharma, so it could be in regards to a surgery. Implant? Something implanted? I'm hearing implant. Ruptured implants. Hmm, I don't know what that's about. But the thing is, you will understand why you had to go through all this pain. Okay, you'll finally figure it out. You know why? Because you are the one that's supposed to put a stop to it. That's probably why somebody's mind was changed. They went from being scared to testify to, well, they're going to kill me. I might as well tell on them, you know. So this is kind of like whistleblower status also. Telling on somebody decisions and goals. So some of you guys are needing to create a five-year plan, some kind of business plan. Or you need to figure out a marketing strategy. Okay, what you've tried before, may it's possible that it hasn't worked. 
for some kind of reason, but it looks like you're going to you're going to figure something out because you've got the world card and Saturn. Um, the world card, excuse me, the world card and the sun. The world card is Saturn. Okay, it's disciplined, determined, commitments, restrictions. You have. Okay, well, I'm hearing the pleasure and pain again. The sun is in Scorpio, beginnings and endings to your fortune. Your goal. So this looks like it might be against a big chain. I kept getting big pharma, but it could be something different, like a store, a company, a big company. The goal is to make them pay for all the pain they've caused. Class action lawsuit by the workers. It feels like maybe by the workers. The sun is beginnings and endings moving forward with something new. It's growth. It's represented by Leo. It's warmth, sincerity, and healthy self-esteem. So, yeah, it literally does feel like somebody blew the whistle on somebody else. And they're realizing that if they didn't tell their story, they would continue doing it to others. And it feels like other people joining in the lawsuits. Interesting. It'll all come together and grow when it's time. Okay. Okay, two cards. Ooh, there we go. Beloved one, I am helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. Interesting. That would be with this three of cups over here celebrating. This could be just, you know, people talking about having that drink before you go into the courtroom, before the big final showdown. Look at that. Divine order, and she's carrying the scales of justice. Beautiful. Archangel Regal. Everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion and see the underlining order. Yeah, that's that moment when you realize... It has to be you. You're the one. You're the one that's going to put a stop to this. Hmm, interesting. I just got goosebumps. All right, guys. Know that everything is perfect as it is. You're exactly where you're supposed to be. So believe and stay in the positive. Okay? Love you guys. Take care.